Hi all, welcome to the session. Today we are going to see uh, orthogonal projections onto the general subspace. So the projections to the uh, one dimensional uh, subspace that is uh, projection to a line that we have seen in the uh, previous video. So the, here we are going to see the uh, general uh, subspace projection onto general subspace. So consider a subspace like this. Uh, here u is the subspace it is um, here we have taken it is a two dimensional uh, subspace and this is the this um, uh, yellow uh, line is the um, vector x okay and we are going to find out the projection of x onto uh, the plane u or uh, to the subspace u and b1 and b2 are its uh, basis vectors uh, the basis vectors of uh, u and here this is the the spy u of x is the projection of x onto this plane okay and uh, what is the dimension of u it is um, a, uh, we take it as m if b1 and b2 are the only basis then dimension of u is uh, 2 okay and since we are taking a general subspace we take uh, we consider that there are m basis vectors for u okay then uh, pi u of x belongs to u that means the projection of x uh, is uh, in this plane it is belonging to the subspace u and uh, pi u of x can be represented as a combination of uh, lambda and b that is the uh, real numbers and the basis vectors okay so that means every point on the subspace or every vector on this subspace can be represented as a combination of uh, real numbers and uh, the basis vectors. Okay, that is a linear combination of basis vectors. The same concept. Okay, and here this red line, this is actually pi u of x that is a vector in the subspace u. Okay. And again, this x is our vector that is not belonging to the subspace u. Okay, u is not belonging to u. And uh, we are finding or we are projecting this x to the subspace u. And that projection is this vector that is pi u of x. And see, this is the origin. And uh, this is another important parameter we need to know is uh, the difference between the x and pi u of x. That is the difference between x and its projection. Okay. So when you take a real uh, life uh, problem or a real machine learning problem, what x means is uh, this is the original value of uh, some parameters and uh, this pi u of x will be its uh, prediction we can consider in that way also and in that case we call this difference difference between this original value and its projection or the uh, predicted value that difference is called the error okay and in most of our algorithms we try to reduce uh, this error okay and find the projection and the projection matrix for uh, this uh, projection to the general subspace. So the first thing is we have to find out the coordinates that is the lambda values. That means uh, we have already said like uh, every uh, vector on the xy plane or uh, sorry the in the u uh, in the subspace u can be represented as a combination of um, lambda and uh, base vectors okay so this lambda is actually the coordinate value and bi is each uh, basis vectors so in order to find out the projection we can first find out uh, the lambda values then we can uh, find out the projection uh, pi u of x this is actually pi u of uh, x okay then how to find out this so pi u of x uh, can be represented like this uh, lambda i is equal to 1 to m lambda i bi okay m is the dimension of the space u okay 
then um, that can be generally represented like b lambda b is the uh, matrix that represents uh, all the basis vectors okay that is the b lambda is the matrix representation then uh, where b is equal to the matrix uh, that contains all the m basis vectors b1 to bm and uh, lambda is representing all the lambda values from lambda 1 to lambda m okay that is its uh, uh, transpose means it will be uh, it will be a column matrix then uh, pi u of x is the um, is the closest to x okay that that we have seen in the uh, previous video we always choose the projection as the closest point to x okay then the vector connecting pi u of x and x is orthogonal to b that also we have seen in the last video that is it is uh, similar to um, it is applicable to uh, any projection to any kind of space whether it is one dimensional two dimensional or any dimensional these two things should be there that means always the projection should be closest to uh, the original vector and the vector connecting uh, the projection and the original vector should be perpendicular to the subspace then um, uh, we find the based on this that is based on this orthogonality we can write it like this uh, b1 uh, is the first base vector that means uh, that means the uh, difference vector that should be perpendicular to uh, each base vector okay so we can just go back to this that means um, uh, this vector this is what uh, we are talking about this vector we are talking about x minus pi u of x okay and uh, this vector should be perpendicular to both the base vectors it should be perpendicular to b2 as well as b1 okay and if there are m uh, base vectors um, uh, this uh, one this one should be perpendicular to all those vectors okay so when two vectors are perpendicular their inner products will be zero so that property we are uh, making use of uh, here uh, we are saying b1 is perpendicular the inner product of b1 uh, to uh, x minus pi u of x that was that uh, uh, vector and uh, its inner product should be equal to zero and uh, here in this case we take um, dot product as the inner product so we can write it like b1 transpose x minus pi u of x so you just uh, recall this uh, notation that means if you want to find out um, uh, the uh, x x so what is the uh, dot product well, when we take the dot product we uh, write it as uh, x transpose x okay so in the same way uh, we take uh, b so if you want to find out uh, x y inner product of x y we write it as x transpose y so in the same way instead of x we have uh, b1 over here and then instead of y we have this vector so we write it like b1 transpose into uh, x minus pi u of x so this is another the second vector that is equal to zero because they are orthogonal to each other and similarly we can write it for all the base vectors so we have already defined that uh, this uh, subspace u has uh, m uh, base vectors so the same thing is applicable for all the base vectors that means our difference vector is always um, perpendicular or orthogonal to all the base vectors of uh, u okay so we can write it like this uh, we can write it for b1 b2 b3 up to bm okay then uh, replace pi u of x by uh, pi u of x is equal to b by uh, we get it like b transpose x minus b y so in the previous slide um, uh, instead of pi u of x instead of this part we can write b lambda okay so b1 transpose into x minus b lambda okay uh, up to uh, that is b2 transpose b3 transpose up to bm transpose into x minus b lambda is equal to zero 
then we can uh, write it in the matrix form the same uh, this equation the set of equations can be rewritten like this in the form of matrix b1 b2 b1 transpose b2 transpose up to bm transpose then uh, into x minus by is equal to 0 okay now uh, b transpose into x minus by okay b transpose is actually representing uh, this uh, entire uh, matrix this matter uh, matrix is represented as b transpose into x minus b lambda okay that is equal to zero so when we solve this equation when we uh, when we remove this bracket and uh, move one um, uh, term to the right hand side we will get an equation like this so uh, it will be actually b transpose x minus b transpose b lambda okay when take it to the right hand side we will get b transpose x is equal to b transpose uh, b lambda uh, or in the reverse way uh, this thing uh, goes here and this one goes here okay so this is called as the normal equation b transpose b lambda is equal to b transpose x then uh, from this we can identify lambda lambda is equal to b uh, we have to uh, move this term to the right hand side that is b transpose b inverse okay into b transpose x that is written here and this part is called the pseudo inverse of b okay now um, uh, we have uh, calculated lambda so this is the equation to find out lambda lambda is equal to b transpose b inverse into b transpose x and now we have to find out pi u of x find the projection pi u of x pi u of x is equal to b lambda we start with that equation and substitute for lambda that we have seen in the previous slide lambda is substituted with b transpose b inverse into b transpose x okay then find the projection matrix p pi since uh, pi u of x is equal to p pi u of x and the pi u of x is actually this one b into b transpose uh, b uh, the inverse into b transpose x uh, which is equal to p pi u of x so on the right on the both the sides we have x so when we remove that x we will get a p pi is equal to b into b transpose b inverse into b transpose okay that is the equation to find out uh, the projection matrix so we have calculated pi u of x uh, uh, like this then p pi u of x is like this okay then let's take an example for a subspace u um, it span uh, these two vectors 1 1 1 0 1 2 that means uh, these are the two basis vectors of u and x is equal to 6 0 0 that is the vector we need to project then we have to find out the lambda on u then pi u of x and then uh, the projection matrix p pi and here uh, these two are the base vectors b1 and b2 and lambda is equal to uh, the equation is, goes like this b transpose b inverse into b transpose x so we have to find out uh, each term uh, b is actually uh, the matrix of the basis vector so we take uh, b1 so the first column represents b1 second column represents b2 and take uh, the transpose b transpose into b so it will be like this the first one is b transpose and this is b and the uh, um, product we will get a 3 3 and 3 5 okay now uh, we have to find out b transpose x uh, this is b transpose into x it, uh, we get 6 0 and uh, what happens uh, we have to find out it inverse uh, like this so uh, what is inverse uh, we have to find out uh, the determinant of a uh, this is the cofactor matrix uh, we interchange uh, these two elements and uh, uh, put a minus over here and uh, it should be divided with its uh, determinant determinant is actually um, 15 minus uh, 9 so that is uh, 6 so here we have to find out 1 by 6 it is multiplied 1 by 6 into its cofactor matrix into uh, b transpose x 
so this is the uh, b transpose b inverse this part okay then b transpose x is uh, this one six zero um, then we get the uh, product of it so multiply and by six we get uh, five minus three so that is lambda value so that means lambda 1 is equal to 5 and lambda 2 is equal to minus 3. So we got the lambda values. Now we have to calculate uh, pi u of x. So pi u of x is equal to b lambda and b is actually this one 1 1 0 1 2 then lambda is 5 minus 3 that we calculated just now. And uh, the multiplication will get uh, the value like this pi u of x is 5 2 minus 1. Then the uh, projection matrix, the equation is like this, projection matrix P pi is equal to B into B transpose B inverse into B transpose. So we we'll get like this. And uh, now uh, substitute uh, for uh, uh, B transpose B inverse. So this will be inverse. Then we will get uh, 1 by 6. Um, it is uh, the, it is actually... Uh, this one okay then uh, we after multiplication we get uh, the answer like this okay so that is the projection matrix then the projection error is like this so uh, for clarity I will draw it once again so if you have uh, the plane uh, like this and uh, you have the vector this is your vector and you find the projection onto this plane then uh, this uh, here you get the projection okay and uh, this difference is actually x minus uh, this is pi u of x okay and this difference is actually x minus pi u of x and we call it as the projection error and we always want to reduce this error and uh, this means that uh, the length of uh, this vector okay so the length of this vector we um, we call it as projection error and how do we find out that uh, value? Okay, let me. Uh, have this one. Okay. So, pi x minus pi u of x. Uh, the, substitute the value for x so value for x uh, is 600 0, 0, and substitute the value of pi u of x that is 5 2 minus 1 so we will get the difference will be this 1 minus 2 1 and we have to find out uh, so this is the vector uh, uh, this vector and we have to find out its length so the length will be root of uh, uh, this suppose uh, uh, this is your vector x is your vector how do you find the length well length will be root of x transpose x so similarly we take a, uh, transpose of this vector vector into the same vector so the transpose into transpose into its uh, original vector okay so that will give you uh, root of 6 so projection error is also called as the reconstruction error and uh, suppose this is uh, the play, uh, subspace u and uh, x is the original vector and uh, this is the projection pi u of x is the projection then this is actually the uh, distance vector x minus pi u of x okay and it is the loss occurred when we reduce the dimension from 2d to 1d okay we can uh, uh, view it in that perspective also then the remarks, uh, projection helps us to find the approximate solution to unsolvable linear equation systems. That is Ax is equal to B. If the basis of uh, projection subspace U is uh, orthonormal, then we can reduce the equations like this by U of X is equal to B into B transpose X and lambda is equal to B transpose X. Because uh, of, since uh, the basis vectors are orthonormal, then its length will be uh, 1. Okay. So that's all about the orthogonal projections to the general subspace.